And joining us now this afternoon is Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard. Sheriff Bouchard, uh, we, th we thank you for being with us. We know you've been very clear with your deputies that they're to go in without delay in a situation like that. We saw your deputies do that in Oxford and quite frankly, it saved lives. So your office sending us this memo, we see that you sent uh, to your team in 2018 in the wake of tragedy in Parkland, Florida, and you reminded them, go in immediately. When you hear this admission in Texas, what's going through your mind? Well, I'm, I'm feeling anguish. I'm feeling much the same thing I just heard in your report, anger, disappointment. Um, it's terribly tragic. You know, it's one of those things that you hope and pray never happens in your community, but if it does, you have to respond in a way that will save as many lives as possible. And if you've got an active shooter in a school, um, even if he's gone silent for a short period of time, if he's in a room with kids and you know he went into that classroom shooting, you've got to get in. You've got to eliminate the threat. That's our primary mission, eliminate the threat. And you have to get in that room by whatever means necessary. If you have to drive a patrol car down the hall to push open the door, do that get to the threat and stop it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And could you maybe give us some insight on what those officers could have possibly been thinking standing there 48 minutes? That's hard for me to get in the mind of somebody, especially if they were still hearing a periodic gunshot in there. And obviously we don't know those details, but if they heard one gunshot and they're standing outside, I don't know how you could look yourself in the mirror for the rest of your life. There's two professions that sign up knowing they may get shot at, police and military. And if you're not up to that potential task, you really need to think about it before you face it and find a different job. And that's what I said in the memo after Parkland that there's a lot of jobs you can help people, but this job requires at that moment, you put yourself in the line of fire because if he's shooting at you, he's not shooting at kids. Mm. Well, do you think there's a need for more training? Without question, training, training facilities are critically important to better outcomes, not just on active shooters, but in everyday policing, like we saw in Minneapolis. You have to have a training facility that stresses people in a way that makes it very real. If they make mistakes, they make it there, and then you correct it. And if they find out, really, this isn't where I need